The title is written as follows. Bring the light of truth to the three spirits. Oh man. I do not like the sound of that. Not examine. But I'm going to equip the shotgun just in case. Here are more crows. Picture of a valiant wearing a bracelet. It's set in yellow stained glass. There's a switch here. The picture of the valiant has turned orange. And then what if we switch it to orange? Then press it again. Hmm. Still wants that sunlight. I thought maybe like you press it once when it's yellow and once when it's orange and that makes it work. But you have to do both presses at once for something to happen. Okay, Sage. Interesting. Ominous freaking crow. All right, this is a big puzzle. Lisa, protected by the three spirits. A picture of a woman wearing a bracelet, a necklace, and a crown. There's a switch at the bottom of the picture. Ah, oh, shit. So if you get it wrong, you get attacked. Is that what that is? Sheesh. Whew. If only that door wasn't single-sided, I'd be able to kind of go back and forth between it, but it's single-sided, so once I go there to heal up and stuff, it's going to be a pain. Uh, I've got to solve that puzzle, man. I don't think the crows are hostile by default. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. This time I won't press the switch. Let's have a look at this one final time. Okay. A bracelet, a necklace, and a crown. No. Okay. So this guy's got a necklace. Purple. Okay, necklace is purple. Saint wearing a crown. Yes. Crown is green and the bracelet is orange. I mean, that aspect of it seems easy enough. If I get attacked one more time, this is a game over, I think. Wait a minute. Okay. So, that seems simple enough. But if I get attacked again, I could die here. 
I'm going to take the risk. I mean, what else can you do here? Okay. There we go. What do we got? Ooh, the death mask. Um. Oh, it's this shortcut here. Perfect. Okay, that's useful. Now, I think I'll probably still head back to... I think while I'm here, obviously, let me just have a quick look at this. Let's examine it first. It's a death mask without a mouth. There you go. It's the first bloody death mask of the whole thing. this one. Um, I think what I want to do is say first, in case every time you put a mask on you have to fight something. I I don't know. So that's a that's a major breakthrough. Again, of course, I opened all the doors that the armor key could open, except for the one that gave me the <laughs> probably the most important item of the bunch. That's cool. I'm a little bit more motivated now. But I'm not in good shape. I need to sort my life out here. Righto. Uh, this is probably still a quicker way. I think I'm going to take the kerosene with me as well so I can go to that boiler for the 55th time and see if I can actually do something with it. Second door. I mean, I would assume that once you get four death masks, that's how you complete the game, probably. But I doubt I'm only a quarter of the way through the game. I'm sure I'll find what, two, three, and four more quickly. So I think I'll heal up and save here. And then put that mask on. I mean, just in case we do encounter a boss, I think for now, let's just leave that alone. One, two, three, four. It did, did it say hexagonal or octagonal? I think it said hexagonal. Let me try not to do too many things at once here. Let's just stick with this. Also, while I'm here, let me just make another mix. Okay, let's go. So once this is done, then again I'll get all the kerosene, the wind crest, all that kind of stuff and see what I can do. Obviously opening that box seems extremely important, but for now the mask is my main priority.
I guess the, maybe the way the game works is that the more things you find, like there's certain items that when you find them, it's, it respawns a different set of, of zombies around the mansion. So like upon finding the death mask, some zombies that were either dead before or didn't appear in a certain area, they start to appear again. Seems possible. Alright, here we go. No dogs along the way, just let me get in. Right, here it is. Let's see. Oh boy. Yeah, okay. So that's all that was. But I just couldn't be sure if it was going to trigger something. So there's a lot more death masks to find. Maybe there's one inside the container that I have too. I don't know. I didn't even get rid of the ink ribbon. I'm such an idiot. It's just a tough one because it's like... Sunshine will awaken me. And well, we have not seen sunshine. So... I think at this stage, once again... I'll probably take the shortcut this time. At this stage, once again, it's trying to find a use for the items that I've been finding. I'm trying to think, like, in terms of major things that I still have, there's the... I feel like the crest could definitely be useful. the one-way door. Okay, so need to do a little bit of an inventory change up here. Right then, I'm gonna again ride my luck a bit more and get rid of these for now. Um, again, I just don't know what that's for. Wooden mount, I have no freaking clue. Yeah, so we're going to fully load up on all this kind of stuff. No healing items is a bit bold, but we'll see. There's plenty of saves around, so I'm taking a bit more risks with that stuff. Now, what's the best way for me to try and get to... Well, from here I'm not getting anywhere. Is there anything red left here? No. Yeah, definitely a lot less red now, which is nice. Um... Okay... I feel like worst case I can fill up some kerosene if I still can't get that stupid thing to work. The boiler. I've got to be able to move that car out the way. That's got to help me with something. Yeah, that's all done. I think another thing I'll check is the basement now. See if any anything I found actually fits there. This isn't an octagon, but it 
Yeah, I was pretty sure it wasn't the case. Octagonal indent indentations. My first instinct was that it was that, but obviously I didn't re remember how many signs it had. That one only has six. But we really need this helmet key at this stage. One thing I haven't done is actually the mansion's main entrance, I think. And I'm also disappointed that the shotgun isn't blowing off more heads. I kind of thought that's what it was there for. At the moment, I don't have any dag daggers either, so I've got to be very careful. Okay, this way. Leave those guys for now. Right. No dogs, please. Yes. Now. One thing I do need to find maybe is that plant bit. Maybe there's uh, there's like artificial sunlight there to be able to grow whatever crazy plant that is down there. The only thing is I don't even remember where that plant is, really. Um, was it on the second floor? I that's one of the things I genuinely don't remember. Um. I feel like it's got to be in one of the red rooms. It's not going to be in any of these, so... I'm inclined to head over to the other side again. Like, my guess is whatever items I have, they need to be used in a red room. Or on a red door, of course. Now I do have the the wooden emblem thing and it did say I think the Spencer emblem thingy so that could be useful. Just too too many options. I think for now I'll focus on the red rooms on the other side, see if there's anything I can find. Actually, even forget that. Oh no. I'm going to switch back to my normal gun. you. I mean, does that mean you can never you can never leave? I mean, my guess, the reason why I didn't leave at all was because I didn't think there was anything to that side of it. Like, you couldn't leave anyway. But seeing it as a door there, I was just like, well, maybe it's worth a go. But I think that's probably what happens every time. If I get really stuck, I might try it again. Like, maybe if you take out enough of the dogs, you can actually roam around outside. Okay, let's check out some more of these rooms now. Yeah, this room is one example. We also need to turn the power back on. That's another thing that we haven't we haven't done yet for that room. Yeah, so like this room remains red, that's another example. Yeah, we've got the musical score here. Commemorating the Asian Mansion. So this is where I've got to come back to once I have the musical score. That's what I mean. It's another case of... I wish there was a separate invent inventory for items 
and for like key items and stuff like let's say the musical score could be a key item it would be different but um i guess i can try it i'm pretty close by the goal is to try and complete the rooms so like this room as a whole is also red Okay, this is a bit I haven't entered before, I think. Hmm. There's an inscription, a tiger glowing with blue and yellow light. Great, as usual, that, that doesn't tell me very much. Just set it alight. So that's it, that's what this entire room is, it's just this. Tiger with glowing with blue and yellow light. Hmm. Yeah, another one of those mysteries. None of the items I have currently are in use, so... Definitely some noises, some stuff going on here. Let me check that room at the end as well, while I'm here. Yes, okay. So this is the room where I was like, there's sunlight here, surely. Come on. Ah, this is it. This is as much. Are you kidding me? Sunshine will awaken me. If that isn't sunlight, I don't know what it is. This room's designed to grow shit. Screw you. I mean, in, in that sense, it's a pretty good game as well. It doesn't really give you any clues. It doesn't baby you with that stuff. It's like, look, man, if you can't figure it out, you can't figure it out. Get good and come back when you can. Danger, higher voltage. It's just one of these things where, like, are you supposed to shock this thing? Like, basically, basically to kill this plant? But I don't know how you do that, obviously. With what, exactly. You can get the battery pack things, but... I'm pretty sure there's a finite number of those. It can't be asking you to use that. I mean... Do we shoot the plant? Do we use incendiary shells? Let me try... I need to head back to the item room here. Let's try a couple of things. We need to get the musical score, and I'm going to get myself some incendiary shells. Try and burn some shit. You see this guy? Fuck you. He's not ready to come out just yet. He'll have his time. I wish there was more female zombies too. There's no female zombies. Kind of sucks. So that wasn't the most fruitful little session, but I do have ideas at least. Uh, sheet music, gonna swap with that. We found like no use for that right now. Um, incendiary shells. There's not much to encounter along that pathway, so. Right, first of all, uh, we had the piano room. But I think it's easier for me to go to the other one first. Right. Let me just check what this was again. 
It's not a red room anyway, but I'm just curious. Oh, it's a kerosene room. That's good. About half. Okay, I'll try and keep that in mind. I mean, I feel like surely we've got to find a way to kill that stupid plant. Yeah, still hasn't broken through yet. Again, it's just like which combination of items or strategy is gonna is gonna work here. No, so that's good. Now, yes. I had my mind fixated on the cart that had the poison ivy on it, so I was just like, yeah, so if you pumped it to the green one, you screwed yourself over. And there's a lot of herbs here. No, those, were, those won't go anywhere, but what we get is our second death mask. Yes, perfect. Progress. Still no sign of the helmet key, but that's that's good progress. So that's what it was for. I was so I was so intent on that boiler thing plus the ivy that was blocking the cart. I was like, that must be what it's for. There you go. Ooh, doubles. Go 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 go. Yeah. See, sometimes you just gotta run. You could tell they were coming. They were ready. Okay. So we're going to keep the sheet music. I'm going to try and make a trip to the piano a bit. And then get the second mask installed as well. So we're making progress now. We're moving now. So all this incendiary stuff, it was, it was a bit of a, a long shot, but we tried. Um, uh... I feel like we have the Spencer thing as well. I think that's worth it. That's it's probably the Spencer family emblem. So now that I've got some... I was going to throw in a save, actually. All right. On the move. Right, the hunt goes on. We need to stay on this floor. So we're going to brave the room with the two zombies again, but make a swift escape to the right. Yeah. Get in and turn right. Hopefully they won't grab me as soon as I enter. Yep. Go, go, go. Oh. Shit. Gotta run around this one as well. <laughs> oh man. Shit. Yeah, that room's busy now. There's gonna be an increasing number of rooms like that as time goes on. So then. I'm hoping now we're gonna play some notes and we're gonna end up getting something here. <laughs> 